The Wall Street Journal and the Sarawak Report on Friday published articles claiming that almost 700 million US dollars or 2.63 billion ringgit of 1MDB funds had been transferred into Prime Minister Datuk Sri Tajib Tun Razak's personal accounts. The reports detail how the money was wire transferred from the Singapore branch of the Swiss Falcon Private Bank into the Prime Minister's Ambank account in Kuala Lumpur in March 2013, just in advance of the calling of the general election. At a press conference, DAP's Petaling Jaya Utara MP, Tony Pua calls on Najib to take leave in the midst of the latest development. Why was this money transferred? The cabinet must call for an emergency meeting and insist that the Prime Minister take leave from his position until this matter can be fully investigated. That's really a very gentle call because in any other developed democracies, the Prime Minister would have resigned from their position. In a more latest report, Wall Street Journal quotes the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission as saying that if there's any corruption at all, it will investigate. However, the Prime Minister's office issued a statement saying that the latest claims are a continuation of a political sabotage. The office says that despite the Prime Minister's successful stewardship of Malaysia's economy against global headwinds, as recognised by Fitch's upgrade, there have been concerted effort by certain individuals to undermine confidence in Malaysia's economy, tarnish the government and remove a democratically elected Prime Minister. In a separate statement, One Malaysia Development Barhad says that the company has never provided any funds to the Prime Minister.